how to find and look at properties that are coming up for a tax sale foreclosure. This is the title of this video. I wanted to make this video because I had some real estate investors that are subscribing to my channel and to my email list ask me how they can get information about real estate properties that are about to go for sale at an auction that they're trying to attend to in Clark County, Nevada. So how do you find these properties, even though how do you find a list and how can you look at the properties before you actually travel there to the attend the auction? My name is Julia M. Spencer. I'm a real estate investor, full-time advisor and mentor to many of the most successful real estate investors out there. And go to this website right here www.juliamspencer.com. You can download any of my audiobooks there. There's the Beginner's Guide to Real Estate Investing. I have an audiobook on how to be a landlord. The most important things that you'll ever need to know about how to be a landlord, how to flip houses, how to do U real estate investing in the U.S. if you're new. And also my newest book that you can find here is about tax sale foreclosures. Also, don't forget to go to my YouTube channel. You can just type into any search engine my name and the YouTube channel will come up and it'll have tons and tons of free videos that you can explore and check out on all kinds of topics that relate to any kind of real estate topic. You're going to be blown away by the information that I offer here for free. And go ahead and check that out. My YouTube channel is one of the number one YouTube channels for real estate investing advice. And you will be blown away with the information that I can share here with you for free. But let's get back to the topic on what we're trying to discuss here. So I had some real estate investors that approached me and wanted to find out how can I look at these properties that I'm going to bid on. I'm making this trip all the way from Europe to Clark County to Nevada to buy a property and I want to see what I'm actually going to buy. So please tell me how to do that. So let's just go through the steps here really quickly and I want to show you how. For starters, let's just type in Clark County Nevada tax sale and I already went to this website before so I know this isn't the right place but if you go right here to the auction list of Clark County just t click on that and this will be um, previous websites previous this will be previous sales results which you can look at in the future to see how much was actually paid for a property but let me just type in the address of the website where the actual auction list for the upcoming auction is so right now we are in May of 2016 as I'm recording this video and the next sale is going to be May 26 and 27th of 2016 so approximately three weeks from now so this is the website to go to. It's a Clark County, Nevada website. It's www.clarkcountynv.gov. It's a treasurer page, and you just type in this right link right here, or you can just search this right here, and you'll be able to get information about the sale. Now, this right here will show you all the information about the sale and what the requirements are to participate. In this particular case, you have to send in a $1,000 registration fee which is applied to any kind of bid that you make and they have registrations that are limited to 280 bidders there's a walk-in registration and mail-in registrations are only accepted by a certain date and you can go ahead and read this um, they will always have a note in here saying that liens are um, not all satisfied by the auction so you have to do your due diligence on each property you're willing to bid on so it's not just important to look at the property, it's also important, and this is very important, once you look at the property and you think you're going to bid on it, also go, um, when you're there, if you get there a few days before the auction, go to the courthouse 
and go to the deed recorder or the place where the real estate records and deeds are recorded and make sure you look up that property to see if there's not any other liens against the property. They could be IRS liens, they could be lawn care liens, there could be credit card liens, there could be mortgage liens, and go ahead and check on everything that might be there so you know exactly what you're dealing with and you're not um, bidding on something that you don't have all the information on. So anyways, here is the list of all the properties that are about to go for sale. And this is pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not going to go through all this. Um, some of these properties have the tenants or owners still living in them. In those cases, the county officials here noted that personal property is not included in the sale. That means if they have, you know, their cars parked or trailers or have personal property inside like furniture, of course that's not included and you will have to, after the auction, go through the due process of removing the inhabitants from their property or giving them some sort of notice that you're removing them from the property and going through that in the right way of fashion. So as you see in this list, the columns on top have the parcel number, the minimum amount that the bidding will start at, the owner, and the property location. A lot of times the property location will have the address. You will see that there's a lot of statuses here in this particular column that say unassigned situs. I'm not sure exactly what that means. This is something that you would call the county officials and ask them. It's probably because it might just be a plot of land that doesn't have an improvement on it, i.e. real estate or building, so there's only a map number and not an actual address associated with this particular real estate. So that's what I'm assuming that means, but that is something that you would have to check with the county officials what that exactly means. So, um, so basically, this is your list, and you have the parcel number, which is the most important thing. So the next thing that you would do is basically go to the Clark County Tax Assessor's Office. And let me give you the website address once you have that because that would now be an additional page that you would have to open. And as you can see, it's again ClarkCountyNevada.gov and it's an assessor's page and you'll see the assessor actually asked for this particular parcel number. So you would go on this auction list and let's say I'm just going to choose this one right here, Ontario Drive. So I would copy, I'd copy this parcel number and put it on this property records and you can copy this address right here or you can just search Clark County Nevada assessors pages property records so you just type in this parcel number or paste it and then um, submit and it pulls up the property card every real estate has a property card so in this information this property card there's a lot of different things could be the parcel number, the owner and mailing address. Looks like the uh, owner isn't even local to the state of Nevada, but it's from Colorado. Um, let's see what else we can gather from this. It's um, the size is a quarter acre. It was built in 1990. A single family residence. Uh, first floor, second floor is about 2,400, 500 square feet. Um, has a garage, two bathrooms, one half bathroom, two fireplaces, four bedrooms. So it's a really seems to be like a really nice house. But well, how do you know how it actually looks like? And actually, I wanted to go back and see what what this right here meant. So I'm going to do this search again. Uh -huh. Okay, so it tells you here additional information, tells you uh, rec records that are associated with this particular property and the hands that this property has been in. So, believe, so it looks like the property has switched hands a few times in the last couple years. Actually, 1990 is when it was constructed, I believe. So this is when it was given to 
Mary Dolores Revocable Trust and George Married Revocable Trust, 50-50. And then in 2008, it seems like there was some other record done. And then again, 2013. So I believe that this property was already auctioned off once in 2008. And then it went back to the original owners, it looks like, approximately five months later. And now it's back on the block for auction again about five years later. So these people have had problems paying their taxes before, and this is their second time. So how do you see what this property actually looks like? Well, first off, we can actually go to the aerial view. And it looks like I have an outdated... Um, browser so let's just try different browser this is not too difficult here let's just do this and we type in the same parcel number that we had before and here is again that same address let's look at the aerial view it will actually show me exactly where this property lo is located. So this purple is right here is where this property is located. Looks like to the back of the property we have a highway and in the front it's actually located on the cul-de-sac and we're talking about this property right here. So again let's talk a little bit more how can we find this property. Now we do have the parcel number and that's this right here which is also on the list of the auction. We do have a, an aerial view. Um, there might be a building sketch as well. Let's see if it actually pulls up. Okay, it does pull up, so it basically tells you a little bit of what it looks like. It looks like this is something that was filed by a architect when this property was built um, and kind of shows you how, how it looks inside. But let's see what this property actually looks like. And for that, I would recommend to go to Google Maps. Google Maps is a really cool place. I love it. And let's type in there the property address. And the property address for this particular property was, let's make sure I can find it again, On the auction list, it was 2536 Ontario Drive. So let's type in that information into Google Maps. And once we type in the address of the street, it should pull up anything that is in Nevada. And here it is, North Drive. North Ontario Drive, Las Vegas, Nevada. So here we go. And yep, that looks like the lot that we're looking at at the aerial view. Um, now you can zoom out to see where it is located in Las Vegas and what area. Actually, I know for a fact Summerlin is a good area. I'm not sure about this area. Um, but here is a picture of it actually and you can go around and turn around and see what it looks like around in that whole neighborhood. looks like a very nice neighborhood and here's our property right here. Now how do, can we find out more information about this property now once we have all of this? The other place that we can go is actually go to Zillow go to Zillow a lot. There's a couple other websites that you can use. Type in that address. Okay, so here it is. Um, last assessed $229,000.83, four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. And this actually gives you a lot of really good information about this home. Uh, the lot size, when it was built, we can front out with the other records that we found. Looks like it was last sold in November 2008 for $12,513. So I guess 
when I found that other record that was sold in 2008, it was already sold once, and this is now the second time. And here is some of the other information that there's in this particular property. And different kinds of information that you can find about this property. Um, there's a couple other places that you can do the research about properties and check them out. One of them is called Property Shark. And type in the address here. may pull up additional information. So use again the Google picture. It tells you a little bit more, maybe more information. Market value, assessment value, tax rate, property taxes, the building value and the land value, and some of the other um, sales history, the comparables for that area, and more information. So this is how you research properties before you drive to them and before you auction. You, this is kind of like a three-step process. You, um, and I'm in a different browser again. You basically go to the auction list. You get the parcel number or the property address or both. Then you go to this tax assessor's office. You pull up the property card. You get the address of this property. You go to Google Maps. You go to Zillow and you go to property shark and then you kind of build your picture about this property and of course in google maps you can also find the location and once you're there you can go and look at it so for more tips like this go to my website juliamspencer.com download your free guide to real estate investing there and sign up for my newsletter today thank you for your free guide to real estate investing, visit juliamspencer.com.